This is my ram stick. Yo! Hey, I just wanted to mention something to you. Perfect. I can't see it. Uh, there we go. Alright. I'm downloading Windows 7 Professional. It says it's the upgrade ISO. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. There we go. And it says that it's the upgrade ISO, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it so I can install it on my desktop. Hopefully all that works out. The plan is to get the ISO from the DVD, then install it on the desktop, on my RAID configuration. Right at the moment, I have two 500 gigabyte um, Western Digital Black Editions. So that's for more performance, but not the you know ten thousand. This is just the seven twenty or seven twenty plus another zero. So I'm letting that download. It's about halfway, and this is this was the student thing. So if you have a student email from your college, college or university or community college, whatever it doesn't matter. As long as it has a probably dot edu at the end, you're probably good to go. And you go to the website, or you can just search for it on Google. I'll try and provide that in the link. You search for it, and then you can get a discount toward professional upgrade. Now I'm gonna find out right now if you can just install professional, scratch, custom, which you should be able to because. I don't know, I think it'd be kind of fair for them to offer something and not give you the full thing because you don't know what's going to happen. You could have a problem with your original install and you really want to just wipe it clean or you just want to start fresh. You never know what you're going through so neither should Windows assume what you're going through either. So that's the plan, Windows 7 Pro on the desktop. And I'm gonna keep home premium right here because this chip does not virtualize, so there's no point in doing pro. That's the one thing about pro and ultimate, you can do virtualization with the um the Windows XP, but then you know you can always use the Sun program and then run Linux and Mac and all that other stuff. You can try them all out. Which is what I do before I install anything. Well except Windows XP and 7 because I've already used those. Ubuntu Ultimate Edition because I've already used it. Sorry, you know what I meant to, but you know, anything else I'd be like, well, we can fix that one. Try that one. It's gotta work. Alright, I think that's all I gotta say. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. So, Raid Zero is gonna be fun. It's gonna be faster. And gosh, it was really easy to set up. Really easy to set up. Everyone who has a desktop that doesn't have a SSD should go ahead and try Raid. 